Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Today I am going to be repotting in two different ways um, a Monstera Adansoniae. Now, this is quite a popular plant at the moment, this uh, Monstera Adansoniae. I have two of them. Look at those beautiful leaves. Oh, the one is dripping with water all over my carpet now. So, what I want to do is, I want to have the one plant, as it is on this table here, trailing and bushing out. And the other one here, I am going to train up a stake, a moss stake, so that it grows up as a thriller. So this one's going to be a spiller, this one's going to be a thriller. I think it's going to look wonderful. So, all I'm going to do is reuse a black pot that I bought another plant from in a plant centre. It's much bigger so that I can place the stake in the middle and train this uh, Monstera adansonii up the stake. And maybe, just maybe, I might put something around the edge in contrast as a spiller in this pot. And then I don't have any more ceramic pots or porcelain pots to put around it right now, but I will buy one. It will fit and then it will look beautiful. So for now, we're just going to work with the black pot. So again, just my very good potting soil and pearl light to help aerate the soil and basically get to it. So here I have one of these stakes, you know, you've seen these on vining plants before. Just an easy one of these to put in the middle to help train up this plant. Another thing you'll need, scissors and some wire to tie around your plant once you put the stake into place. So let's get mixing this soil with some perlite to start with. You've seen all this before, many times now. Oh, take up the soil, put the first amount in, press it down to make sure it doesn't just go straight through all the holes. More soil, crumble it up as you go along if it's got big chunks. Now I need to place in my stake. Basically, just push it down in the middle, so that it is solid and compact the soil around it. Let me be the first thing you do. Compact the soil around that. And then more soil. Get your Monstera Adansoniae. Take it out of its pot. This one's a bit pot bound, I can see the roots are sticking out the bottom. There we go, yes, it's like that. And I'm sure I should be able to separate this into a few different plants to put on both sides. So let's just get this and try and do that. Well, you know what? Maybe you want to keep it one side and start training it up so that you've got a nice bushy effect at the front. But that means I'm not going to be, definitely won't be putting any kind of spinner at the bottom like I was thinking of doing. Basically, all I'm going to do now is, okay, make a hole. I really hope you can see what I'm doing here. Just making a hole to put the whole root ball in. Um, releasing these roots from being root bound around each other. So just like, you know, Pull them out a little bit at the bottom. So they're facing down and you know that they're going to go in and around the pot perfectly. The side where you've got the longest runners put inwards and then just place your bundle, the rest of the plant, in at the front. And I think before I do anything else, I'm going to have to stake up these long runners so we can see what we are working with here. 
So, now I've got my plant here. I'm going to fix the runners up first and then I'll be putting more soil around the bottom, but it's easier for me to get the runners out of the way. So basically, a little bit of fishing wire that I will triple up so it's not too thin. This is not the best material to use, people, but it's what I have, and I won't be putting it around tightly in any way, so it should be okay. So basically, if I put it in three pieces, it's gonna be nice and thick and then we can put our first runner and because they've got these lovely lovely air roots you know that it will quickly fasten to this stake here and enjoy life growing up as a vine and you can see the height of the plant already it looks wonderful you can get the whole perspective of it you can see the wonderful leaves with the holes in them and you can see the bushy nest down here, which I'm gonna love letting grow out and then carry on the height with these two runners and any more longer runners that start coming out, they can be staked up as well. So some you can leave trailing around the bottom, some you can leave, take up, I mean, and some, eventually, when you have plenty, you can take off and repot. Second runner, beautiful, lovely big leaves on it. Put that around the other side so you feel like you have at least two sides full of potential uh, vining. Let me just turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Looks wonderful already. This side already high and lush. Looking really, really nice. And a lot going on down here, a lot of growth. Very happy plants, very green. I'm wondering if I shouldn't put the other one in now or if it would be too much or if I shouldn't just already because it's so lush and it's got so much going on here I think I'll take some cuttings directly off because it's so thick here and there is a lot going on and there are some inside to give it a little bit more air I think I might take one or two off and replant them around the other sides so that we have some on each quarter um, and just put them straight into the soil keep the soil moist and they would and they should um, root out and be fine on their own so I think we'll do that now also, before I start putting more soil in, I can see where there are air roots, so I can see where I can take a piece. And I will come and show you after. Oh, you know, they're very uh, rough leaves, so they actually stick to each other very well. One piece there. I'm wondering where I might be able to get another piece without it being noticeable too much. See that? I didn't even notice. Actually, it needed it because there are so many leaves here. Um, I need one more piece. Let's see. No, no, no. Just... Sometimes you lose some, took a leaf off. But I did get a little piece, and this is a very young piece. Oh, I can't even see it. Yeah. Very young piece with the root, so you can't see that I've taken that out either. But it's just freed up a little bit of room because it's very tight and compact, this actually. Even though I want a bushy feeling, I do also want it to have a bit of space. Well, anyway, I've taken these two cuttings. This one with that little root and this one with that root and this leaf fell off. Now, who knows? I'm just gonna put it in the soil and leave it and see what happens. Give it a chance, you might as well. So basically, now I'm ready to start putting the soil back around the root ball of this plant. I'll use that, it's already full of perlite. So when I need to put a little bit more around the other side, it'll be fine without the having to disturb this root ball any more than this now. 
I think this plant is going to be happy like this. So basically, now I just need to get a little bit of soil, more soil in this part. Just to fill up. That's perfect, doesn't get any more than that. Just a little tiny bit more perlite around here to mix in with that last bit. Woo! Massage that into this soil. And then put in, basically, the last cuttings and that's it. This one, in here. Like that. And this one with the root at the back, like that. And it's also got a leaf coming out, so that's good. And the leaf, just in case it wants to decide to do something, we'll put that in too, because you never know, who knows? Maybe it will propagate. Right, at least it has a chance, right? So that's that. Looks absolutely beautiful, I'm so happy. So let me bring it up and show you what it looks like closer. So there we go, we've created a much taller plant, a Monstera Addisonii with a lovely stake holding it in place so its roots can go into the stake, support it up, make it happy. It's got a lovely bushy area down the bottom and thins out at the top and becomes an absolutely wonderful thriller. So I'm really pleased about that. Just think of this being in a nice white ceramic or porcelain pot, just like I've done in some of my other videos, and then you're good to go. And I still have my other plant that I'm just going to let train to be like a bush or a spiller. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to Gardens and Crystals, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.